We have a lot of laughs, blow some stuff up, and have a look at some epic designs. And in today's episode, I'm really excited about this. I am going to be checking out your guys' creations that you made for me to check out. So this first one is Dr. Intech Intercontinental Ballistic Missile made by Jeff Dunham, which is a good comedian, by the way. And uh, this person has made probably one of the coolest things that I've seen so far. I did test it out. And I'm really excited to show you uh, because it's so cool how, how it's designed and what he did with it. Um, he said, first, adjust the launch degree by using the meter on the left and then turn up the throttle and then press stage two. So I want to say... If you have anything that you want me to check out, something that you make for me to check out in a video, uh, tag it with my name. Uh, Andrew put out a thing just a little bit ago about tagging instead of naming uh, the various items like, you know, hey, Antec, check this out or whatever. Um, instead, you put it in your tags of your vehicle and then that way I can still search for it and I can find it. Uh, but it looks better for uh, the other people who are making stuff and have been around for a while so they don't get annoyed by all the YouTuber stuff. But anyway, so um, feel free to comment in the comment section below saying, hey, I made this for you. I'll go try to find it in a video. Like I said in the last video, uh, I try to record these all in two days. And so if I don't get to it this week, I'll get to it next week. So don't uh, don't worry. I'm going to find it. I'm going to check it out. I'm just going to say in every video, if you want something if you want to make me something leave it in the comment section below and then you know tag it on the on the website uh just so people know that that option is there so this is made by jeff dunham once again the dr intech intercontinental ballistic missile which is this thing is so sweet okay so look at this just stacks and stacks of VTOL. and then what you do is you raise this meter up and it literally positions it straight up and down and uh basically we're gonna go uh we're gonna, you're just gonna uh, bomb some Nazis over here, or uh, Al Qaeda, or something like that. So uh, throttle up and take that, Al Qaeda! <laughs> Look at how fast it goes! I totally didn't even see it reaches a like a really high speed. But look at look at the we're at like 500,000 feet, going 55,000 miles per hour, 700, 800. 900 a million this is crazy i wonder how far we i want to let's just let it go and see how high we get i don't think you ever go out of the atmosphere uh but it just is like blue skies for days it would be so cool if the guy who made this game made it so you could actually go out of the atmosphere and you had like you know space effects and stuff where you once you enter once you leave um the orbit you can actually do different things like that would be so cool i know it'd be kind of like ksp at that point but like i don't know it'd be so cool to do okay so we're at like 2.6 this is insane okay so what, i'm gonna restart this because i want to look at how fast this gets initially because there's a point in time where i think it's it like 90 or something like that so let's throttle up 90 yeah like 98 98,000 miles per hour this is such a sick design Dude, this is amazing. So funny. This is great. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some other user creations because there are plenty more. Uh, there's a few more, and uh, they're just as cool. So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, this is The Shadow, made by Kermizi Potates. If I butcher any name, I'm sorry, man. But uh, this is what he made, and it is really sweet looking he said this plane is a stunt military plane for ntech i'm excited about this plane because it is so maneuverable you can add guns to it if you want i can take off about 150 miles per hour within five seconds its speed when st stunting is approximately 650 it has five air brakes so you can land it even on a carrier or anywhere not bad i think anyways thanks for downloading this plane whoever you are goodbye go check his stuff out because it's uh this is a pretty sweet looking thing. All right, so this is a shadow. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna see what we can do. Maybe do some stunts. It looks sick though. It looks so cool. Now, are these, uh, hold on one second. I wanna look. I'm, I'm interested in these designs on the people making. Are these, uh, just, okay, it's just structural panel, okay. All right, let's look at it. I was just curious to know what that was. I love the design of this thing. It looks so sleek. The structural panels really can change how something looks, like extremely easily. All right, here we go. 150, we're up. 
Oh man. We got up right away with this thing. Roll is very uh, sustained, very slow. But man, look at that turn. Look at that. Dude, sweet. We can do we can do stuff all day in this thing. It's it's ex it is definitely extremely maneuverable and it feels great too. Gonna fly back. So cool. Yeah, man, this thing is sweet. Oh, there we go. We're at like 650 and it's even better. We're at like really high speeds and it's like even more maneuverable. Let's uh let's let the thing reach 650 and then see what we can do. Oh yeah, it like turns way faster. It's even more maneuverable. Sweet. Thank you so much for making this, man. Oh <laughs> no, we're up. Lift up. We're good. I love that you can go in the water and then come back up. That is so cool. <laughs> Wait, I want to try it again. I want to try to like go down and then pull up. Because if you get it like right barely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Here we go. It's like a little, it's just like bounced off the water surface. Oh, I don't know about this one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's check it. Check out the next user-created item. This design looks familiar. I think we checked this out. One of the coolest things that I found so far in the game, like the intercontinental ballistic missile, and this thing, are like two of my favorite things that I've that I found so far. So this is again made by Jeff Denham. Um, it's based on Wild Wolf 2107's Bullet Train Mark II, but they, but Jeff Dunham said that he has fixed this, and what he did was he made it so it doesn't break apart, and, uh, we'll take a look at that. So, um, it, it launches better, and it's, it's a lot, uh, it doesn't break apart, and I think it reaches higher speeds too. And so it's based off of a previous design, obviously Wild Wolf's, uh, but it d doesn't break apart. So I'm gonna go to Bandit, actually, not Final Approach. Because Bandit's a, Bandit's a cool place. Alright, so let's take a look here. So we have to hit, uh, 1 to disengage it, and then we just throttle up. Whoops! Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to do the VTOL thing. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops! There we go. There we go. <laughs> Whoops, forgot about that. There we go. 69, I think. You can see it's not breaking apart. And so it's going forever and then it just soars for quite a while. You can just soar. And uh, I don't think you can control the thing. Oh, you can actually control it. It actually does have control services on it. Okay, so let me look at this again because um, I want to see what the, the max speed that it reaches. Sixty-nine, seventy. I think it hits 71, 71,000. So it's fixed, doesn't break apart. It flies for a while after the fact. Pretty sweet. Thank you for uh, fixing this because this is one of the coolest things that I think I've uh, found in game so far. I think though the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile has it beat because that thing is sweet. I really, I think that is so cool. But yeah, this is pretty sweet too. So Bullet Train Mark II fixed for Intank based off of Wild Wolf 2107's original design uh, fixed by Jeff Dunham. So there you go. All right. So next up we have the FFU-1 uh, made by RU-40 and this is something that he made for myself and Weasel. And so, uh, just my first attempt at, at fuselage building. And so, we're going to check this thing out and see what it can do and see. It looks pretty sweet. It looks like it'll fly. Um, it's got like a tail dragger here. It is very interesting once you start working with the fuselage that you can actually like make all kinds of different things. Oh, there we go. Cool. I like the look of it. Very sleek looking. Very cool looking. Let's see what it can do. Let's see what it can do. The design of the wings is interesting too. I love the color, the color scheme. It takes off really well. It's got some MGs even. Turns pretty well. Whoa! Whoa! 
We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. It's uh, definitely maneuverable, that's for sure. What about the bridge? I'm still, like, trying to work out how to take things through the bridge with the joystick. Because since I suck so bad with the joystick. Yeah, baby! Yes! <laughs> I did it! Oh my gosh! I did not think I was going to do it. That was like, I pulled down so fast. I probably screamed so loud right there. I can't believe I just made that. I totally thought my approach was like so, like, completely wrong. Dude, that's great. That's freaking sweet. Wow. So, first time flying through the bridge with this guy's design. Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's fairly maneuverable. Pretty cool. Definitely rolls quite well. I like the look of it a lot. The color scheme is sweet. It's like, it reminds me of the Canadian flag. Um, <laughs> oh, pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> no, it didn't make it back up. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's sinking down. Sink it down. All right, let's check something else out. This is the Antec Jet, made by Nasty Gaming. Um, looks pretty sweet. It's very, uh, very square looking, but I like the look of the front. What are these? Oh, angled. They're angled. That looks really cool, actually. I haven't like messed around with the angled blocks or like these kind of softer looking blocks either. That's like a long one. So this is like just a regular angle block. We've got fuel scattered about. I like inspecting the designs now that I've been like trying to make some myself. So these are this is just all made of blocks. Okay. So the fuselages. Okay. That's kind of like what I did uh, initially. And I guess you can get like you can get pretty interesting designs. Like I don't know if you guys remember that Zodiac thing. <laughs> That's all made from those blocks. Um, so the Antec jet. Let's uh let's see what this thing can do. Check it out and see uh see if it flies and how it flies and what what it looks like. Oh, you know what though? It's interesting with the uh the nose like almost touches the ground. I don't, that's like perfectly balanced right there. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Nasty gaming, here we go. The Antec jet. Those wing, the wing landing gears always make me so nervous. We're up. Takes off like right away. Yeah, the wing landing gears always make me so nervous in terms of, of uh, like, I feel like they're going to break apart. So th this is kind of cool because this reminds me of uh, like the orange scheme, the black and orange scheme from uh, the thing that I just made. And it, you know, it's got a very similar looking shape like with this like blocky looking. I think I just like suck with the joystick though. Like I think this is like my biggest issue. Oh, you know what? Also, I haven't used those uh those uh, engines yet. I have only used like the the max ones. Let's let it get a little bit faster before we pull it and see what happens. Cuz it's it's pretty maneuverable. And I like the look of those engines, man. I need to use those. I wonder what this thing would be like if it had some propulsion towards the back, too. Because it flies okay. Flies well. Cockpit's kind of cool. The block looking. No guns, though. No guns! Need guns! Need more guns! Okay, I've been really liking uh, crashing into the water and coming out. I want to see if it... I really wonder if it's... Based on... Yes! Yes! We're good. No, 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 no. Pick up. Pick up the speed. <laughs> no. It almost made it. Dang it. Thank you, Nasty Gaming, for the jet. I really I really appreciate uh, you making this for me. Checking out everybody who's made something so, so far. I really appreciate checking all these out and you guys uh, taking the time and effort to make stuff. And if, like I said, if you want to make some more stuff for me to check out, feel free to... Uh, 
to comment in the comment section below letting me know that you did and tag it so I can find it uh, when I go looking for it uh, when I go making videos next week. All right, last but not least, we have the MiG-21 PT VTOL. Uh, this is made by Bilek777. Ten days ago, actually, made it a long time ago, probably before I even asked for anybody to make anything. Uh, made for Jacksepticeye, very look, looks like Jacksepticeye type of colors. Uh, Weasel, Entac, and Fly. And, and everyone else, enjoy my first airplane a bit. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and... How, how is this? I haven't really messed around with this yet, with the VTOL stuff. Fly, just fly straight up. Whoa. Oh yeah, I gotta. I, sh <laughs> I should probably, I should probably control the VTOL. The only problem is, is that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Whoop 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 whoop. Maybe I should just uh. Not try to take vertically because I don't know if I can do it because I kind of suck. I kind of suck at doing that. Let's just take it off normally. Vertical takeoff would be cool, but no, nope, not gonna happen because I suck. Because I suck. All right, there we go. We're up. We're good. We're going. This thing has some funky wings, man. Whoa, whoa! What's it doing? Oh, oh, oh! I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I had a blast checking out your stuff. Uh, if anybody, you know, I, hopefully I can do this every single week where I can check out what you guys have made, uh, specifically for me and, uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe for more simple planes content and as well as content from so many other games. Hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for your life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys.